right friends learning space once again welcomes all of you this is a comprehension ability improvement discussion as we have already announced from 1st april onwards on mondays it will be looking at grammar you can say how to understand the sentences my discussion will be on those lines how to understand the sentence that is on mondays tuesday wednesday thursday exclusively this comprehension ability friday we will have this current affairs and banking awareness discussion from 12 o'clock so here today's discussion is growth by merger monday we are going to deliberate on the economic times editorial of today that is time to bring a tough privacy law now aadhar is being made mandatory for each and everything and because of this there are apprehensions with the regard to the privacy of this aadhar data so this we are going to deliberate on monday 27th march and today's discussion is growth by merger this is with regard to vodafone as well as idea merger the vodafone multinational giant from united kingdom came to india with lot of expectations but ultimately the expectations outweighed the reality reality is something different here it is highly competitive market at the same time lot of most of the telecom companies are into lot of debt average revenue per user is low data penetration is at to take place so under the circumstances reliance jio entered with a bank so under the circumstances there is no way out to these telecom companies except looking at consolidation so around 4 or 5 will be left over a few years ago there were 13 so growth by merger so it is talking about if you are making 4 plus 4 it will become 9 or 10 not 8 so that is the meaning in fact one adage is also used in this so we are going to deliberate and before going ahead this is vodafone and idea idea is aditya birla group telecom company so vodafone and idea are going to be merged and merger means it is a two separate entities combining to create a new organization and normally acquisition is used when a small organization is taken over by bigger organization so in e-commerce companies normally when small organization is taken over by bigger organization we use acquisition and amalgamation sometimes it happens because with the two companies coming together all together with a third name so that is amalgamation so let us go back to the passage growth by merger both vodafone and idea both the telecom companies stand to gain much it is a win win game you can say it is not zero sum game it is a win win game zero sum game means when somebody is gaining other fellow will lose that is zero sum game so in mergers normally because of the merger of two larger entities both of them must gain that is a win win situation and here win win situation is there that's why both vodafone and idea stand to gain much from the merger in a tough market tough market because of two three reasons average revenue per user is less here costs associated with for providing services like spectrum cost at the same time providing telecom towers even in remotest parts of the country so these are the problems so he used here this in tough market because of all these things overall companies are not able to improve their balance sheets under these circumstances reliance jio entered with a bank so the vodafone group's decision to merge its india unit with aditya birla group controlled idea cellular is a classic case of two companies classic case of two companies recognizing the truth in the adage that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts so if 4 plus 4 if you are adding 4 plus 4 in business mergers 
if it becomes 8, there is no gain in fact. So, 4 plus 4 should become 10 or 11. So, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. So, it is also true here and this adage, adage means a proverb basically, adage means a proverb or short statement expressing a general truth is adage. Scientists have shown that there is a degree of truth in the old adage that love is blind. So, adage means proverb or short statement. So, it is a classic case, classic has got two meanings. One is having a high quality or standard against which other things are judged. The first one is having a high quality, that means it will be a benchmark. I gave one example, IISC Bangalore can be regarded as a classic research institution in the country. That means, it maintains the highest quality and which can be regarded as the benchmark and all other institutions will be judged with the quality of IISC. Under those circumstances, you can use a classic, but the other meaning of a classic is having all the characteristics or qualities that you expect. Here, the patient had all the classic symptoms of diabetes. So, having all the characteristics or qualities that you expect, that is a classic. Please come back to the passage. This is a classic case of two companies. So, it is having all the characteristics. So, it is a classic case of two companies recognizing the truth in the proverb or adage that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. So, this merger of these two companies is a classic case of two companies recognizing the old proverb that whole is greater than sum of its parts of the two mobile operators he is talking about two mobile operators, idea functioned in its early years, idea functioned, he is talking about past. So, idea functioned in its early years as a three way joint venture, joint venture means it is the business arrangement, joint venture. Most of the highway projects in our country are being executed as joint venture products, projects sorry, joint venture projects and joint venture is nothing but a business arrangement in which two or more parties agree to pool their resources for accomplishing particular task. So, initially it started off, this idea started off as a three way joint venture involving Tata. Subsequently, second company is US Telecommunications Behemoth AT and T and the Aditya Birla Group. So, initially it started as a joint venture between Tata, AT and T of United States of America and Aditya Birla group. What is the meaning of behemoth? You have to use this word when the organization is extremely large. You cannot use for small organizations. So, behemoth needs to be used when the organization is extremely large or most powerful, right. So, under those circumstances only you have to use a behemoth. So, here he used a behemoth because of the reason AT and T is quite a big organization of United States of America, right. So, initially it started as a joint venture between Tata group as well as AT and T and Aditya Birla group. The proposed deal Proposed deal, proposed deal means between Vodafone and idea. Proposed deal represents a welcome chance to resurrect its flagging fortunes, to resurrect its flagging fortunes. Flagging, flagging means on the decline, resurrect, resurrect means to put it back on the track. So, please understand this sentence carefully. The proposed deal represents a welcome chance to resurrect its flagging fortunes. Flagging means weakening, declining, this is flagging and to keep it back on track is resurrection. I have given example, resurrect. Resurrect means to bring someone back to life or 
to bring something into use or existence, to bring someone back to life. We are having several Bollywood actors of 1970s as well as 80s, they are trying to resurrect their careers, because their careers are on the declining path, they are trying to resurrect their careers. So, please understand this resurrect, re, re means it is again bringing back to life, flagging means becoming weaker, slower, less effective is flagging. So, please understand the proposed deal represents a welcome chance to resurrect its flagging fortunes. So, to put back on track, it is a weakening fortunes. So, the telecom companies, the fortunes are now weakening because of several factors. So, this merger will take care of improving the existing weakened structure, right. Look at the next one. The last three quarters, he is talking about balance sheets for the last three quarters. The last three quarters proved past, he is talking about past, past action. So, the last three quarters proved a brutal testament to the ravages that heightened competition could wreck on a middle of the pack firm's operational finances. For the past three balance sheets, they are brutal testament, brutal why he is used, something is very very bad, that is why he used brutal, brutal testament to the ravages. I will look at this meaning a short while from now, ravages that means it was totally collapsed due to heightened competition. How the heightened competition can collapse the existing companies. So, the past three months or you can say past three balance sheets are a testimony to that. So, after looking at these meanings, you will be very clear brutal, brutal means this is hot or uncomfortable. Brutal is basically you can use it for violence. There was a brutal attack that is indicates violence and this word can be used to indicate punishingly hard or uncomfortable situation. I gave an example. In the early 1890s, a series of brutal winters. So, brutal winters means they are punishingly hard winters. So, brutal winters decimated the cattle industry in some of the western countries it entirely decimated the cattle industry. So, here brutal testament, this is something he is talking in the bad sense. So, the balance sheets for the past three quarters are hard, that means they are punishingly hard or most uncomfortable testament. Testament means which serves as a sign or evidence of a specified fact. I gave an example, the recent victories in Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand are indeed a testament to the popularity of Sri Narendra Modi. Testament means recent victories of Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand are serving as an evidence or as a sign of popularity of Sri Narendra Modi. So, testament means which acts as sign or evidence, brutal means punishingly hard or most uncomfortable and at the same time ravages that is damage is caused. So, the ravages of the indiscriminate firing is clearly evident. Please look into this. The ravages of indiscriminate firing is clearly evident when one looks at the broken window panes of the building and wreck. Wreck means destroy or badly damage something is wreck. So, please understand these words. Wreck means to destroy something. So, let us go back to the passage. The passage says the last three quarters proved totally, that means a brutal testament, that means brutal means totally uncomfortable testament, uncomfortable sign to the damages that heightened competition could cause on a telecom company. So, here 
this heightened competition destroyed everything that is the meaning heightened competition it can cause a lot of destruction and the balance sheets of for the past three quarters are testimony to that so crux of this paragraph is the balance sheets of for the past three quarters indicate that totally something wrong with the telecom companies because of heightened competition heightened competition destroyed the telecom companies in a one sentence to say then look at the next paragraph in vodafone's case he is talking about vodafone the planned merger offers the global telecom major an opportunity to downsize its engagement that means it gives an opportunity to downsize its engagement downsize means if they are investing now 5 billion dollars they can reduce investments gradually so downsize its engagement with a market in which promise has outweighed performance outweigh what is the meaning of outweigh outweigh means more important or more influence than something else more important or more influence than something else right here i have given one example the long term benefits of demonetization far outweigh the short term pain as stated by the government the long term benefits of demonetization far outweigh the short term pain as stated by the government outweigh means having more influence or more important than something else so here looking back to the passage it says that the promise has outweighed the performance so promise has outweighed the performance the meaning is the performance is not up to the expected mark and the company in fact it is a downsizing its engagement without actually exiting it without exiting india it is a downsizing its engagement to that extent it is a win win for both the parties any merger must result in win win situation set to vault the combined entity set to vault the combined entity to the top of the heap in india's 1.13 billion subscribers strong mobile phone services market the merger of equals as the two companies described it will enable vodafone to straight away net about rupees 3900 crore on consummation of the deal by selling 4.9% stake to aditya birla group what is the meaning here the sentence says 1.13 billion subscribers are there and here in the previous sentence it said it is a downsizing its engagement instead of exiting altogether in indian market from indian market now the merger of these two companies which is called merger of equals merger of equals why it is called because both are big companies that's why it is merger of the equals and here because of the merger of the equals the combined entity will go to the top vault the meaning please understand this vault means to raise in position i will explain you vault means this is for storing money you can use this if something can be used to store valuable things you can use this word vault v a u l t and vault is normally there in the banks at the same time in houses also for keeping safely something i think this picture may or may not represent that please ignore this and what i mean to say is vault means something which is used to store some precious things and in the present context what is the meaning of vault vault means to move someone suddenly to more important position or higher level so if someone is moved to some more important position suddenly you can use vault so here with the merger of five associate banks the state bank of india is now vaulted to the global top 50 banks so here because of the merger among the equals then this merged entity will reach to the top so it will 
set to vault the combined entity that means the position will be raised that is why vault is used and at the same time it will enable so make it possible Vodafone to get straight away 3900 crores of rupees on consummation of the deal on completion of the deal by selling 4.9 percent stake to Aditya Birla group leaving its holding to the new company at 45.1 percent. So, the crux of the matter is the company is selling 4.9 percent stake to idea and by selling 4.9 percent stake on completion of the agreement on consummation, consummation means completing finally. So, on consummation of the agreement, this Vodafone will get rupees 3900 crore, right. So, it is downsizing its involvement in our country. So, it is clearly evident because it is a selling part of its share. Enable means it is to make something to do something. So, to make something possible is enabling. Concentrating on nutrition security will enable India to come out of the problem of malnutrition, right. Then the next word is consummation. So, it has got two meanings. One meaning is the act of making a marriage or romantic relationship complete by having sex, that is one meaning. And the second meaning is in business deals. In business deals, the act of making something complete or perfect. So, now it was decided for Vodafone and idea to merge. So, the act of completing the merger, the perfect act of completing the merger is consummation, please understand. So, once the deal is consummated, then this Vodafone will get rupees 3900 crore because it is selling some stake and still it will have 45 percent stake in the new company ideas controlling shareholders because Vodafone will have 45 percent. So, ideas controlling shareholders will have an opportunity to increase the 26 percent stake they will have at the start of the relationship by acquiring more shares from Vodafone over the next 4 years. So, ideas controlling shareholders whoever are controlling this idea will have an opportunity to increase the 26 percent stake they will have at the start of the relationship by acquiring more shares from Vodafone, right. Let us look at the next paragraph. The two firms expect to see substantial cost savings as the projected synergies from capital and operational expenditure help focus on meeting the challenges of a fast evolving market immediate tariff war with the current leader Bharati Airtel and the ambitious entrant Reliance Geo. So, here the two firms expected to see substantial, substantial means here of considerable importance you have to use or size to indicate size, right. So, here size that means to see substantial cost savings means that means substantial cost savings reasonably some sort of good cost savings will be done and the two firms are expected to see substantial cost savings as the projected synergies. Here you see when the two companies are merged what happens? Some employees will be taken out, second thing is some offices will be closed, third point is spectrum will be used, combined spectrum will have more efficiency, then fourth point is call drops if at all there they will be they will come down. Then the next important aspect is towers, the towers of idea will be used at the same time the towers of Vodafone. So, there are so many advantages of mergers among the equals it is called synergy, synergy means this word is to be used when the interaction of two or more organizations is basically produced greater than some of their separate effects, then only you have to use a synergy. So, when synergy is used 4 plus 4 must become 10 or 11, but not 8. So, the synergy when two companies are merging with the synergy, then 4 plus 4 must become 10 or 11, but not 8. 
So, this is the meaning of synergy. Synergy means basically the organizations when they are merged, the combined effect will be much greater than some of their individual effects. So, here synergy is there between Vodafone and idea. So, greater synergy or projected synergies will bring down this expenditure and it will help meet the challenges. There are several challenges in telecom sector. I have already told you what are the challenges. High price competition is there, highly competitive market, Reliance Geo ambitiously entered the market, lot of debt is there. So, these are all the difficult problems they are facing and the spectrum cost that is too high. So, because of all these things telecom companies are into problems. So, here focus on meeting the challenges of a fast evolving market, immediate tariff war with the current leader Bharti Airtel and the ambitious recent entrant Reliance Geo. They have to face the tariff war also. Reliance Geo announced some tariff around rupees 300 with 30 GB and voice calls free. So, now there is a lot of competition. Bharti Airtel also announced some tariff because of tariff war from Reliance Geo, Bharti Airtel also slashed the rates. So, now under the present tariff war, they have to meet the challenge. Right? So, ambitious means strong wish to be successful. The government has an ambitious goal of ensuring housing for all by 2022. Nevertheless, nevertheless means here there are two meanings. Here I know something about bitcoins, but his talk on the subject was interesting nevertheless. So, despite what has just been said or referred to nevertheless means despite what has just been said or referred to nevertheless the merger however grand the scale could well end up being less than adequate to help staunch the flow of red ink here nevertheless the merger however grand it is now it is merger among the equals it is the big one could well end up being less than adequate to help reduce the losses. I told you in simple terms, the merger could well end up being less than adequate to help reduce the flow of losses. Red ink means in business parlance, red ink means that is the loss. When business is in loss, we use red ink emit an industry wide slide in average revenue per user. Average revenue per user, there is a slide in average revenue per user and the steadily escalating cost of bidding for a fresh wireless spectrum. That average revenue per user is coming down and at the same time spectrum costs are increasing. Under these circumstances, it is not that easy for the combined entity to reduce the losses. That is the meaning of this paragraph. Then staunch, staunch has got two meanings. One is very loyal or committed. If someone says, I am the staunch supporter of Narendra Modi. If someone says, I am the staunch supporter of Narendra Modi. The meaning is very loyal and committed supporter. Then other one is stop or restrict. The company did nothing to staunch the tide of rumors, to stop or restrict the tide of rumors. In the present context, this is a staunch means to restrict or to stop. The flow of red ink means losses, right? Please understand this carefully. So, here a red ink means this is a financial loss in business is called red ink. Subsequent to 2008 financial crisis, several companies were drowned in red ink. That means several companies were into losses with the mobile number portability. Nowadays, mobile number portability is made quite easy for the easier for the customers to switch networks. If I am not satisfied with Airtel, I can switch over to Jio, I can switch over to Vodafone. So, mobile number portability having made it easier for customers to switch networks on account of service quality levels or pricing, Vodafone and Idea have their work cut out 
in the lead up to the merger Vodafone and idea have their work cut out. That means, the company which has got something very difficult to do, we are using work cut out. This word is used when the company or organization has got something very difficult to do. So, here Vodafone and idea have their work cut out in the lead up to the merger. So, here Vodafone and idea have their work cut out in the lead up to the merger. That means, they have difficult, difficult task ahead, right, which they expect to close in 2018. So, here it is easier for customers to switch networks on account of service quality or pricing. Vodafone and idea have difficult task or several difficult aspects to be completed in the lead up to the merger, which they expect to close in 2018. For Vodafone, the prospect of having to meet a huge bill of about rupees 21,000 crore, were it to lose its arbitral challenge to a tax claim dating back to the transaction that paved its entry into the Indian market, must surely have been a significant consideration in tipping its hand. So, for taking this decision, what is the meaning of tipping its hand? Tipping its, its hand means normally this is used by inadvertently or revealing the task to do. So, revealing some task or you can say the plan of action. If the company is revealing inadvertently or Whatever the reason, if the company is revealing, normally it consider it to be secret when it is kept open about its plan of action, then tipping its hand is normally used. So, here in this context, the company to take this decision, there is already one arbitration case is going on, which involves a tax notice of rupees 21,000 crore given by the Indian tax authorities. And now, if it loses in arbitration, then it has to pay rupees 21,000 crores also. Here you see, please understand this sentence carefully. It is very difficult to understand such sentences. For Vodafone, the prospect of having to meet a huge bill of rupees 21,000 crore, were it to lose its arbitral challenge, were it to lose its arbitral challenge to a tax claim dating back to the arbitration that paved its entry into the Indian market, must surely have been a significant consideration in tipping its hand. So, the prospect of if it loses arbitration case, if it loses arbitration case that has not yet been completed, were it to lose its arbitration challenge means, if in case it loses its arbitration, it is required to pay 21,000 crores to the Indian authorities, probably that also is the significant factor in tipping its hand, that means in taking this decision. Right. Please understand this, were it to lose its arbitral challenge, this is to be understood carefully. Right. Then, as the company's chairman, Gerald Clisterly wrote in 2016 annual report, while India represents its chairman wrote in annual report, what he has written? As India represents an excellent long term investment opportunity, this is what is written by its chairman in the 2016 annual report. While India represents an excellent long term investment opportunity, the present regulatory challenges are hampering economic development. Hampering economic development, hampering means they are causing as obstacle to the economic development and they are restricting economic development, present regulatory challenges and this is exacerbated by other ongoing regulatory and fiscal burdens, exacerbated. What is the meaning of it? Exacerbated means already the situation is bad, when it is becoming something worse, then you use this word already the situation must be bad, when that is becoming further worse, 
then only you have to use this word exacerbate. So, frequent terrorist attacks from across the border are exacerbating the relations between India and Pakistan. So, to make something worse which is already bad right here and this is exacerbated by other regulatory and fiscal burdens. So, here the present regulatory challenges are hampering economic development in our country and this is exacerbated that means, this is made further worse already the situation is bad, it is made further worse by ongoing regulatory and fiscal burdens right. Final word is time alone can tell, time alone can tell whether this will end up as a truly successful marriage. The merger between Vodafone and idea whether it will end up as a truly successful marriage only time can say. Right. So, on Monday we will discuss time to bring in a tough privacy law as Aadhaar is being made mandatory one after the other. The biggest question arises what about the safety of my biological data? Right. This is almost in everybody's mind how to protect the data. Something need to be done by the Indian government to protect the data of more than 108 crore people who got Aadhaar's at present. Right friends, so have a nice weekend and we will meet on Monday at 12 noon. Have a nice day. Thank you.